Hey everyone, my name's Kyle. I'm the founder and CEO of Quiply. We make equipment rental software for independent rental companies. Really compete with the national players and commoditization happening in the industry and consolidation. Everyone's being bought by the national players. Uh, we've built software since 2020, really focused on one, two, five, 10 location plus equipment rental companies. Um, I'm going to do a brief demo here. There's a lot of features. So I'm not going to hit on everything, of course, but just less than 10 minutes here are some of the highlights. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. There's two parts of the system here. Uh, one is the online storefront, and the second part is the backend rental system, right? So I'll start with the e-commerce piece. All this is included, uh, unlimited users, unlimited inventory, unlimited features. It's all included in our system. We want to make things e easy and modern uh, for rental companies moving into the digital age into 2025, right? So this is your uh, website, your logo, your colors. It's hosted on your domain name. It really looks and feels like your site. We can integrate into an existing site you have, or this can be your, your full website. You've got different categories, product, et cetera, different price structures, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly pricing. We could do weekday, weekend pricing, things like that. Uh, pictures, descriptions, videos. We do all the onboarding for you to get, get your whole site uh, built out. We've got add-on attachments. You've got questions you can ask customers. Um, customers put the day and time of the request and we'll block days off uh, like a hotel or, or uh, Airbnb to make sure uh, we're not over overbooking for any items that you don't have available. Um, once you go to the checkout page, um, I've already logged in before and rendered with you. So my information is already pre-saved and it's even faster for repeat checkout. It'll ask you for delivery or pickup. Uh, we'll do a pickup here, but for delivery rates, we can do uh, different rates by product. We also have an integration with Google Maps. So we'll validate the addresses here using Google. We also do a per mile, per minute, or per kilometer rate as well to calculate delivery fees that way. Um, you'll see taxes, uh, fuel deposits, et cetera. Um, we integrate with tax jar, tax jar for calculating taxes. Uh, we also use Stripe for credit card processing. So we'll validate that it's a real credit card here on this step. We can also take ACH payments directly. Uh, also, uh, we can rent on account where you invoice them with net 30, net 60 sort of terms. Uh, once you confirm the credit card, we can collect driver's license, proof of insurance for first time renters. Then this is your rental contract that they have to agree to before placing that order. They click place order request. And they can do this on their phone or uh, on their laptop. We see about 60% of all sessions are done on mobile devices. So this is mobile responsive. Um, what will then happen is they get an email that says, hey, your order has been currently pending uh, and we'll get back to you in normal business hours, right? So this is what the customer gets, the rental contract that they've now signed. Uh, and then this is what your team gets has been a new online reservation, right? With this information. Uh, what then happens is they click into that email to go and review and approve that order. This is where you can assign a unit number to this order, update the pricing, uh, review the driver's license, proof of insurance information, uh, you can do a picture or video before or after the rental uh, as a timestamp for any damages or disputes, things like that. Um, but to keep things easy, let's approve it. We'll take 100% of payment at this point on the credit card. We've now charged the customer. They get an email that order's been approved and charged, uh, and then we'll move it to on rent, right? So the next step here is with the customer, we'll track our reader, uh, things like that. Uh, we can track fuel, et cetera, at the end of it when we off rent it. So just a really easy way to move through the uh, rental process. That's the online piece. Uh, I'll show one, one other functionality on the, on the online website that's included is the customer portal. So they can kind of log in and see all of their previous rentals, click into that. They can request extensions, call offs. They can download receipts. They can click one button to reorder things. This is also their, um, you know, they can pay invoices, right? So they have uh, $57,000 they owe you, 54 is past due. They can click pay statement. Uh, they can pay again by credit card or ACH. We'll just pay $1,000 uh, right now. And that'll again trigger a payment directly off your invoice that you owe. And you can see the amount, amounts have already uh, been updated. So the customer portal is another really important part of the e commerce and online ranking experience. Jumping back to the back end side of things, as I mentioned, there's three ways to create an order. One is on the online storefront, one is a point of sale transaction. So I'll go through that now. Customer walks in, uh, you can create a new one pretty easily or repeat customers, it's even faster. You search for the customer name, it populates here. You can choose representatives too. So there's different representatives within a, a company a entity as well. Track credit utilization. If you're extending credit to customers, again, all that information is stored here. You can do cycle billing with custom terms. So, you know, maybe do a 28 day cycle bill length with 28 day payment terms. 
and we send the invoice on the 17th of the month. It's all customizable for how you want to run your business. You can choose the location you're operating at. Um, you choose the product name you want to rent. It'll, it'll suggest add-on products. You can update the individual line price here as well. Okay, that looks good. Add that to the order. You can assign a unit number here. You can see availability, et cetera, uh, if you want to do that. Um, the credit card's all stored indefinitely on Stripe servers. So if you need to charge them for upcharges, it's very easy to do that. Uh, we also have an integration with their point of sale terminal. So there'll be another box here for uh, swiping the credit card in person. Um, once you create that order, there's several ways for the customer to sign that contract. Uh, you can turn around an iPad. They can sign it there. Uh, they can uh, uh, sign it uh, on their phone or you can have it, you know, print in person, right? So you can, there are a few different options here. This, this emails it to them for the sign. This is to uh, sign here in person, right? And then the last one is uh, they can scan a QR code to sign on their phone. So that's how you create in-person orders. Uh, the create quote flow is very similar. So you can imagine you're on the phone with a customer and they say, hey, send me a quote, right? You can send them a quote with an expiration date and in three clicks, they can sign and pay for that on their phone. Uh, so go through that. Okay. Add that to the order and you click create quote. You can text or email this to customers, right? So, uh, it's a pretty cool feature. If you do want to text your customers, they get that text message or email. Uh, they get this thing that says, Hey, there's been a new quote. They click confirm and pay for quote. Uh, all their information is pre-filled payment looks good. Get my signature, accept quote. They're ready to pick it up or have it dropped off. So th those are three different ways to create or uh to create features to create orders we we do it really fast i think the point of sale and the online experience needs to be as minimal clicks as possible and we've hopefully designed that um some of the other functionality here this is the main dashboard so you can see at a glance you know filtered for different time periods today tomorrow you know week to date next seven days or custom by location you can see i've got 64 percent fleet utilization 94 items on rent 94 past due, one's hard down. Um, I'm, I'm searching right now for all, but you can you know, toggle for everything that's going out today. You can also toggle for everything that's coming in. Um, this is On this left column is your delivery or pickup, and then this is the in-store. So you can really see it from a delivery and in-store perspective, all the information. And as you action on these orders, it'll clear out. So the idea is at the end of the day, you should have zero tasks, zero orders to process. This is like your uh, day at a glance, week at a glance view. Uh, we have some simple dispatch functionality as well. I'll skip over that, but just signing drivers to orders on the customer page. Uh, we have some functionality here. So you can decide, hey, th this customer, we're not going to sign rental tax to. Does this customer need a PO number? Uh, is this a do not rent pricing customer? Do they have special tag pricing? So pre-negotiated rates. Um, this is the representative section. You can create different representatives with different roles here. Um, the collectible screen. So if you have multiple invoices that are open, you can uh, make a payment directly to that, or you can create a statement. And with one button, you can email that statement to customer. So again, this customer owes you $57,000. Here are all the different invoices. You can see the time, uh, you know, 30 days late, 60 days late. Um, so the counting part, having all the accounts receivable directly and quickly is, is super important. There's a piece of that there. Um, document history, and then just history of all their orders as well. On the inventory side, um, there's several different views here. So this product units view is our most common one. So you can search for different categories like aerial lifts. I got 22 unit, 54% utilization, 12 on rent. I can see what's available. I can see what's on rent when it's coming back. Um, we have an integration with Boom and Bucket as well. So you can see real time uh, market value for your equipment as well uh, using make, model, year and some information there. So as long as you uh, turn that integration on, you can see real time fleet value as well. Um, Jumping into the service repair component, uh, this is being able to uh, track work orders on your own equipment, but also customer-owned equipment and create uh, invoices directly from that. So uh, you just click add work order. You can start, stop, et cetera. Um, you can create customer-owned work orders as well. So if you're servicing other people's equipment, you can invoice them directly from that and also assign parts here as well. So just like a fully integrated uh, service repair component as part of Quipply. Um, I'm just going to do the high level here. On the accounting side, this is a huge feature for us, a lot we've built here. Um, we do integrate with QuickBooks Online. So we do a one-way sync. You can set all this up here. Uh, we send every single invoice, every single line item in real time uh, directly to QuickBooks Online. 
Um, on the collectible screen, though, right now I'm filtering for everyone who's past due by 60 days. So this is your accounts receivable side, right? So this customer's due, you know, owes you $63, got their credit card on file. Let's charge them that amount, right? And clear this out. So this accounts receivable section we call collectibles uh, is super important. The general ledger functionality is awesome as well. You can create your own GL accounts uh, and run different reports by location, by time period. So this is sale of product income, state tax, different city tax. When you click into that, you can see all the different invoice numbers and line items that summed into that. So just for running your own end of period reporting is super, uh, super important. Um, we have different tax reporting as well. So you can see different tax that's been collected, uh, daily payment totals. So you can see by location, by date, cash check, credit card, ACH payment, other, et cetera. Um, we use, as I mentioned, Stripe for credit card processing. So you can see all of the Stripe transactions that came through um, and also do reconciliation directly in here. So you can see, hey, I got to pay out $11,000. What went into that? You can click into that and see by location and by transaction ID, what summed into that with total amount fees and then what the net take to you guys were. Um, that's all uh, directly set up here. And also with tax codes, you can create your own tax codes or use the quick uh, the uh, tax chart integration here too. On the reporting side, we have several different reports. Um, this is probably the most commonly used report, it's our product report. And you can filter overall um, on-rent percentage, revenue, average revenue per unit, and average daily rental rate. You can see that by location, by category, by product, and then by unit underneath that. Uh, but you can see some of the information we have, days on rent, um, you know, rental revenue, sales revenue, uh, annualized ROI, you can see service costs, hard days down, soft days down, number of work orders, depreciated value as well. So just as like a, you can, you can obviously export all this too. So this is like the main report that a lot of people use, although we do have other reports around, you know, revenue and different charts like that. Uh, last thing I'll say is all uh, role-based access. So you can create unlimited users, as I mentioned. Um, so you can go in here and you can sort of you know, give people access to different locations, different functionality. Maybe you don't, you don't want everyone seeing all of your revenue, things like that. So that's all easily set up here. So uh, that's a quickly system. I talked really fast and that was a very high level point, uh, viewpoint of uh, some of the features we have. But again, we work with independent rental companies who want to move into this digital age and they want something cloud-based, easy to use, online website, texting quotes, customer portal, plus the integrated backend system. Uh, that's what we built here. And if you want to learn more, go to quickly.com, request a demo with me or someone on the team. We'd love to speak with you. Thanks.